Hello and welcome to a video introduction of the recently launched NeoBurger project. Today we'll run through the things that you should know about NeoBurger and demonstrate how you can begin earning gas by staking into its pool. NeoBurger is an automated voting strategy optimizer and a wrapper for the Neo token. Users can use the dApp to convert Neo to BNeo, a divisible form of the Neo token that still follows the NEP17 token standard. The Neo pooled by NeoBurger is then used to optimally vote in N3 governance, with a share of those rewards being claimable by BNeo holders at any time. Voting in NeoBurger is managed automatically by a dedicated strategist, which optimizes its vote to maximize the amount of gas received. To make this possible, the system splits pooled Neo between a number of different agent contracts, which act like independently voting wallets. Wrapping Neo to BNeo opens new opportunities and use cases for Neo tokens. It simplifies its use as a currency or in other dApps such as DeFi platforms. There are fees associated with NeoBurger. Unwrapping BNeo costs 0.01 gas per Neo unwrapped. 99% of that fee is redistributed to BNeo holders, while 1% is sent to the treasury. NeoBurger also charges a 1% performance fee on the gas rewards that it generates which is also allocated to the treasury. Neoburger's strategist aims to maximize the potential gas rewards that can be generated by voting for candidates, but choosing to pool your Neo with Neoburger also means losing the opportunity to vote for your own choice of preferred candidate. If you're someone that wants to influence the future direction of Neo, it's important to consider whether your interests are better served with a direct vote for entities that you believe will do the best job as a council member. Now that you understand the role that NeoBurger plays in the ecosystem, let's take a look at how you can use it. NeoBurger provides a convenient front end on its official website where users can wrap Neo or perform their gas claims. The portal currently supports Neo Line and O3 Wallet using the DAPI protocol, and in the future it will also work with Neon via Wallet Connect. Let's run through an example using Neo Line. I'm going to click Connect Wallet Neo Line which brings up the Neoline menu, and I have my wallet logged in that I want to be using for this demo. So now we can see in the burger station, we have my one Neo available, which is what I have in this wallet address. And we can just use the front end here to easily swap for B Neo. It gives us a little breakdown of the fees that will be involved. These are just the normal um, network and system fees that are part of N3 and the gas fee here would be anything extra. Okay, we can see that that was a success. We can view this on the Explorer, which will give us a little bit more information about this transaction. You can see the fees that were paid. You can see that it was a success. If it ends in halt, then we know that it was a success. If it ends in fault, then we know that it has an error. And we can see that we sent one Neo to the address. There it is. The Neo transferred from our account to the contract. And we can see that in response, we received one B Neo token. So if we open up Neo line, we should see, there it is, one B Neo. Now we are an active BNEO holder. Uh, we no longer have the ability to use that one NEO to vote. You can see our NEO balance is now one, so we can't do anything in governance, but BNEO is automatically uh, partaking in governance on our behalf with, uh, with optimal voting strategies. Now, if we refresh the page, we should hopefully see that we will start um, accruing some rewards within BNeo, although th they aren't actually showing up right now, even though some blocks have passed. To understand why that happens, you can have a look at this little diagram, which is in Neo uh, on NeoBurger's Medium page. And it shows that each of these agents, which are essentially uh, in independent voting wallets, which count, which cast a vote for different candidates, because of course one wallet can't vote for multiple candidates, so it needs to be able to split across multiple agents in order to uh, pursue optimal voting strategies. Now, each one of these has its own uh, accruing gas balance in Neo governance. So in order to claim all of that gas back where users can then claim it uh, in the Neo Burger core, then you'll need to call sync and claim on each of these agents. Now you can just wait for someone else to call those operations, whether it's Neoburger itself calling them 
or another user who decides I really want to get my maximum rewards right now and they pay the gas to make these calls. But anyone can do it and doing so will make sure that when you perform your gas claim, you're getting the correct amount of gas from the whole system, not just some of them that have already synced and uh, deposited their gas into the core for you to claim. And there we can see that we've generated some gas. Um, it's only a small amount because it's only been going for a little while and uh, I only have one Neo in here, but it would be a very competitive rate, most likely the highest you could earn in governance. Okay, that's going to conclude our NeoBurger usage guide with NeoLine. Now let's talk about OnNEP17 payment. To make the project accessible to any Neo wallet, NeoBurger has been designed to make heavy use of the OnNEP17 payment feature, which is unique to Neo and 3 smart contracts. End users can trigger any functionality in the contract, including wrapping and unwrapping and claiming gas, by simply transferring various assets directly to the NeoBurger contract's public address, depending on the action they're trying to perform. The ability to trigger arbitrary logic in a smart contract this way by directly sending token transfers is a unique feature of NEO that, that will not be familiar to many users, especially those coming from Ethereum and other EVM-based networks. In practice, it can make interacting with a smart contract as simple as just depositing assets to a centralized exchange would be, but if it's misused, it could also result in inaccessible or stolen funds. All this to say, you should always thoroughly check the recipient before invoking any contract in this way. If it says it supports on NEP17 payment, use small test quantities first where you can and verify the smart contract code before doing so where possible. We're going to demonstrate the onnep 17 payment functionality of the NeoBurger contract by doing two things. The first thing we're going to do is claim our gas. And the second thing we are going to do is unwrap our Neo by using this redeem function. So we can see by reading the NeoBurger documentation that the way to perform a gas claim using onnep 17 payment is to send any amount of BNEO to the contract address and it's better to, to send zero in BNEO if your wallet supports sending the zero amount. Unfortunately, Neon does not support sending that, so I'm gonna go ahead and send one BNEO to the contract in order to claim my gas. And we can see the gas fee that we're gonna be paying to do this claim, so you would only wanna do this, of course, if you've actually generated a considerable amount of gas. So that transaction's been completed. We sent the B1B Neo, and if we have a look in our wallet, we still have one B Neo. That's because it's going to go ahead and send it straight back to us. If we uh, if we weren't able to send zero B Neo, then it will just give our one B Neo straight back to us. So we can see that my gas balance has actually gone down overall because I was claiming such a, a small amount of gas. You can see here the amount that I received from the uh, the B Neo contract and the amount that I paid in network fees for that claim. And here on the Explorer, you can see the same thing again. We can see that I transferred my one B Neo to the contract directly from Neon Wallet. I didn't use Neoline for this. And in return, I got my gas out of the contract. So that's a good example of how on NEP 17 payment functionality works in NeoBurger. Now let's go ahead and also demonstrate the redemption process. So we can see that to redeem our BNEO, what we do is we send withdraw fee gas to the contract address in order to redeem our BNEO to NEO. The withdrawal fee is 0.01 gas per NEO. So since we have, here we go, open up Neon Wallet, we have one B NEO to redeem. So the fee for that is gonna be 0.01 gas. So let's put 0.01 in here. Let's grab the address. So here I am sending gas. And now watch what happens with our BNEO token. So the BNEO has gone and we now have our NEO back. So even though um, NeoBurger hasn't integrated Wallet Connect, the fact that it allows on NEP17 payment functionality means any basic wallet would be able to use the contract in this way. And that's all there is to it. Hope that's been enlightening. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.